Hello my dear student friends welcome to this session let us study the classification of ic engines class ic engines are classified in various ways first of all they are classified according to the cycle of operation so it may be a two stroke cycle or four stroke cycle two stroke cycle engine or four stroke cycle engine in two stroke cycle engine in one cycle we have two strokes of the piston in one cycle we have one complete revolution of the crank shaft so two strokes means one revolution so in one revolution one cycle is completed now what do you mean by stroke stroke of the piston stroke of the piston is nothing but the motion of the piston from one end to the other end motion of the piston from one extreme position to the other extreme position is called as stroke for example the piston may move from the top dead center to the bottom dead center or bottom dead center to the top dead center the piston may move from inner dead center to the outer dead center or the piston may move from outer dead center to inner dead center now you should know what is top dead center bottom dead center inner dead center outer dead center outer dead center all these things yes so top dead center means the extreme position of the piston at the top at the top means near the cylinder head because when the engine is vertical the cylinder head is at the top and the crankcase side of the cylinder is at the bottom so when we say that the piston is at the top dead center it means that the piston piston is having is at, at its extreme position the piston piston is at its extreme position at the top means it is closest to the cylinder head the piston is as close as possible to the cylinder head in vertical engine that means the piston is at the top dead center tdc now if the piston is at the bottom extreme bottom position means closest to the crankcase so that is the bottom dead center position of the piston when the piston is as close as possible to the crankcase in case of vertical engine then we say that the piston is at the bottom dead center bdc now what is idc that is inner dead center in horizontal engines when the piston is closest to the cylinder head then we say that the piston is at inner dead center or idc position when the piston is at the other side means it is closest to the crankcase in horizontal engine then we say piston is located at the outer dead center so stroke is nothing but the motion of the piston from one dead center to other dead center one extreme position to the other extreme position so during one stroke of the piston the crank revolution is 180 degrees that is half a revolution so during two strokes one revolution is completed so in two stroke engine you will find that one cycle is completed in two strokes or in one revolution of the crank shaft now in four stroke cycle engine you will find that in one cycle four strokes of the piston takes place so the rotation of the crank will be 
टू रेवल्यूशन एंड द एंगल विल बी थ्री सिक्सटी प्लस थ्री सिक्सटी दैट इज सेवन ट्वेंटी डिग्रीज एंगल विल बी कवर्ड बाय द क्रैंक इन वन साइकल इन केस ऑफ फोर स्ट्रोक साइकल इंजिन तो टू स्ट्रोक इंजिन जे आतमें का होता कि दोन स्ट्रोक मधे एक साइकल पूर्ण होते दोन स्ट्रोक मजे एक रेवल्यूशन मजे एक रेवल्यूशन मधे एक साइकल का होते पूर्ण होते टू स्ट्रोक इंजिन मधे परंतु फोर स्ट्रोक इंजिन मधे का होता कि चार स्ट्रोक जेव पूर्ण होता एक साइकल पूर्ण होते चार स्ट्रोक मजे दोन रेवल्यूशन क्रैंक के दोन रेवल्यूशन जेव पूर्ण होता पिस्टन के चार स्ट्रोक्स पूर्ण होता दरमियान एक साइकल जी है ती पूर्ण होते इंजिन की एक साइकल मजे एकदा पावर प्रोड्यूस होते इंजिन मधे मन तो अपन एक साइकल यान इंजिन्स आर ऑल्सो क्लासिफाइड अकॉर्डिंग टू द साइकल ऑफ कंबशन व्हाट इज द साइकल ऑफ कंबशन सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी लेटर ऑन ऑटो साइकल डिजेल साइकल एंड ड्यूएल साइकल राइट देर आर अदर साइकल्स ऑल्सो ब्रेट ऑन साइकल एक्सेट्रा बट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी मेनली द ऑटो साइकल डिजेल साइकल एंड द ड्यूएल साइकल इंजिन्स एंड दिस इज द वन वे ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ इंजिन इंजिन्स आर ऑल्सो क्लासिफाइड अकॉर्डिंग टू द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ सिलिंडर्स हाउ द सिलिंडर्स आर अरेंजमेंट अरेंज्ड द सिलिंडर्स मे बी हॉरिजॉन्टल देन इट इज अ हॉरिजॉन्टल इंजिन सिलिंडर्स मे बी वर्टिकल ऑल द सिलिंडर्स मे बी वर्टिकल सो इट इज अ वर्टिकल इंजिन देन द सिलिंडर्स मे बी रेडियल अलॉन्ग द रेडिया ऑफ द सर्कल एंड विथ इक्वल एंगुलर स्पेसिंग देन इट दैट इज अ रेडियल टाइप ऑफ इंजिन राइट सो the cylinders the you can say the center lines of the cylinders will be along the radii of a circle and they will be equally spaced in a angular manner then that is a radial engine and v type of engine so in v type of engine the engine cylinders are in the form of the letter v so they are inclined to each other and the सेंटर लाइन्स ऑफ द इंजिन्स सेंटर लाइन्स ऑफ द इंजिन सिलिंडर्स दे मीट ऐट अ पॉइंट सो दे आर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ व्ही देअर फॉर इट इज कॉल्ड एज द व्ही टाइप इंजिन देन लेट एस कंटिन्यू द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ आई सी इंजिन अकॉर्डिंग टू द नंबर ऑफ सिलिंडर्स हाउ मेनी सिलिंडर्स वेदर दे इज अ सिंगल सिलिंडर और मल्टी सिलिंडर मोर देन वन सिलिंडर then it is a multi cylinder engine if there is a, we are using only one cylinder it is called as single cylinder engine engines are also classified according to the action on piston see there is action on the piston the force is acting on the piston when there is combustion of the fuel force is acting on the piston so mostly what is happening is that the combustion takes place in the cylinder head and the push piston is pushed from the inner red center to the outer red center so this happens in single acting engine so the combustion of fuel is taking place on only one side of the piston that is the single acting engine but in double acting engine you will find that the force is acting on the piston on both the sides on the both side both the sides of the piston force is acted force is being acting so that is double acting engine that means the combustion of the fuel is taking place on the cylinder head side also as well as on the crankcase side also so that is a more complicated engine double acting engine mostly we are having the single acting engines then ic engines are also classified according to the speed of the engine the engine may have low speed or it may have medium speed or the engine may have high speed so depending upon that the engines are classified engines are also classified according to the type of fuel which fuel is used in the engine whether petrol is used gas is used or oil is used or kerosene is used so diesel is used which type of fuel is used in the engine accordingly 
the engines are classified if petrol is used we say petrol engine if gas is used we say gas engine and so on according to the method of igniting fuel how the fuel is ignited the fuel can be ignited by producing a spark and such engines are called as spark ignition engines or si engines in si engine the mixture of air and fuel is compressed in the cylinder and then the spark is produced so due to that the combustion of the fuel takes place a sudden explosion takes place as soon as the spark is produced so due to the spark you will find that the ignition of the fuel takes place and therefore such engines are called as spark ignition engines but in case of some other engines you will find that there is no spark plug used spark is not produced at all but the compression ratio is very high more than 16 is the compression ratio so since the compression ratio is very high the pressure at the end of compression is very high so therefore the temperature is also very high and this temperature is slightly more than the ignition temperature of the fuel so first of all only air is compressed and the temperature of this air is more than the ignition temperature of the fuel as soon as the fuel is injected what will happen is that due to the high temperature the fuel will ignite as soon as the fuel is injected the fuel will come in contact with high temperature the temperature of the fuel will also increase it will be more than the ignition temperature of the fuel and therefore the ignition of the fuel take will take place no need of spark plug so such type of engine is called as compression ignition engine according to the method of cooling how the engine is cooled whether it is air cooled or water cooled so we are having air cooled engine and water cooled engine again engines are classified according to the method of fuel supply engines are classified according to the method of fuel supply in some engines we are using the carburetors so what is the function of carburetor the carburetor will mix air and fuel to the required proportion in the required ratio in the required proportion mixing of air fuel will air and fuel will be done and this mixture is which is called as charge will be supplied to the engine according to the requirement of the power which is produced in the engine so that is the that type of engine is called as engine which is using carburetor in air ignition engine uh, the air is compressed the compression ratio is very high and such type of engines are also called as compression ignition engines but here the injection is uh, air is injected inside the engine and then fuel is injected in some case of engine in some other engines you will find that the fuel is in solid form not only fuel the oxidizer is also in the solid form and both are mixed some some cake or some rod may be present and this is nothing but a solid mixture of the oxidizer as well as the fuel so as soon as it is ignited by some source of heat then it will start burning because fuel is also there and oxidizer is also there we are not supplying the air from the atmosphere we are not supplying the oxygen actually oxygen is needed for combustion and oxygen is present in the air and that is in the gaseous form but in case of solid or airless engines which are used mostly in the rockets you will find that the fuel as well as the oxidizer both are in the solid form and they are in the mixed form and they keep on burning as soon as they are ignited according to the suction pressure engines are classified 
some engines are naturally aspirated engine and some other engines are supercharged engines so naturally aspirated engines means those engines where uh, no compressed air is supplied air is pro- supplied naturally from the atmosphere air is sucked but in supercharged engine the air is pressurized the density of the air is increased pressure is increased and then is sub- then it is supplied to the engine so that the power output can be increased when more air is supplied more oxygen is supplied we can supply more fuel in the same engine and we can obtain more power such type of engines are called as supercharged engines we are going to study in detail about supercharged in- engines later on so my dear friend this was the classification of ic engines now let us go ahead to study the applications of internal combustion engines where these internal combustion engines are used we are having some stationary engines then uh, we are having the portable engines all the automobile engines come under portable engines then uh, marine engines marine engines means in the sea in the ships or in the submarines the engines which are used are called as the marine engines so that is a important application of the ic engines then in automobile engines also we are uh, in automobiles also we are using the engines then uh, in uh, aircrafts also we are using the engines they are called as the aero engines then some tractor engines means these are these are the engines having uh, very high power they are used in the earth moving equipments like excavators boring machines the harvesters or the jcbs the long form of jcb is joseph cyril bamford so thank you my dear friends